Alright, I'm going to beat Chu in Eastern Exorcist on hard mode. This is a really tough boss fight and the chances are I'm going to take a bunch of damage, so I made sure to stock up on provisions before the fight so that I had maximum health vials. I'm also using the Shadow Spell skill because the clone that attacks with you really helps a lot. To start with I'm going to dash to the left and hold block. When she comes to the ground I'm going to parry her rush attack. And I'm going to dash to the right, hold block and I'll parry the third dart. That should break her stagger bar and now I can do a bit of damage on her. I don't want to be too greedy though, as soon as her stagger bar fills up again, like now, I want to dash away to safety. Okay, she's going up in the air, I'm going to hold block. When she returns to the ground, I'll parry that rush attack, then I will dash to safety again. While she's doing these attacks, I just want to keep away from her. They can be parried, but it's just safer to keep away from her. Now I'm going to try to parry some of these darts, get in some damage, and parry, get in some damage. Don't want to be greedy though, her stagger bar isn't broken yet, so I don't want to stay near her for very long. Parry again, and that'll break her stagger bar. More damage. Again, I'm watching her stagger bar. When it fills up, I'm going to dash to save. When she goes in this crazy mode phase, I like to keep away, but if there's parryable darts like that, I'm going to try and take advantage of it. She's going up in the air. I should really dash through, but I'll try to parry. There we go. Get to safety, because the stagger bar isn't broken yet. I'll try to parry these darts if I can, if the timing will work. Nope. Parry. Can't put too much damage on her though. It's too dangerous to stay close to her. She can kill you very quickly. Alright, parry. Sometimes the parry timing can be a bit hit and miss, like there, but you have to be prepared to try to parry, and even if you take some damage from some missed parries, it's still better to play that way and be aggressive and potentially get more damage on her because she can heal. It's a race of who can heal and put on the most damage in this fight, and if you're not aggressive, she'll just heal up and you'll struggle to beat her. Also, if you're not aggressive, her stagger bar will recover. You can see it recovering there. Parry, oh, that parry didn't work because I accidentally turned and faced the opposite direction. For any block or parry to work, you have to be facing the direction of the thing you're trying to block or parry. I need to heal. Okay. I'm a bit trapped here, so I'm going to jump and dash over her. block and dash through her. Basically if I don't see something that's parryable like these darts then I'm going to be dashing all the time. If I attack her and she recovers her stagger bar I'm going to immediately dash and if I mistime something and she's on my case I'm going to dash and that's because I want to take advantage of the iframes you get from dashing. Dashing gives you good invulnerability. I mean it's not, it's not perfect but it can protect you from taking a lot of damage. Speaking of which I need to heal. Okay. This is a pretty spammy fight as far as all different types of things that can damage you go, but she doesn't really have that many different moves. She just has a lot of different spam that can cover the screen. What I'm trying to do really is just concentrate on searching for projectiles that I can parry, and for the rest of the time trying to use the iframes of dashing just to dash around the screen and keep away from her. But I still need to be aggressive. I still need to parry everything I can and put on as much damage as I can because if I don't, the stagger bar will heal and she'll also heal her health bar as well. Have to uh, play aggressive but also safe at the same time. It's kind of a balancing act, I guess. That's why my personal preference is the shadow spell skill. The clone keeps attacking her even while I'm getting iframes from dashing, so that's really good. And the shadow uh, spell clone does a lot of damage to her stagger bar. And the more I deplete her stagger bar, the less I have to deal with all of her spammy attacks and the more damage I can put on her. I mean, any skill will work. Depends on your personal preference, but I just like the shadow spell clone. She's almost dead. Hopefully I'll get to parry a... No, she's healing. When she does that, she heals. See, she got a chunk of her health back. That was a bit of a bummer. But, yeah, if you're not aggressive enough, she will heal. And she can do it as many times as she wants. So 
yeah, you've got to really, really stay aggressive. Carrying every projectile you possibly can. Hitting her wherever you possibly can. That parry, finally. Hopefully I can hit her before she has a chance to heal again. Alright. Right trigger to dispel. And that's Chew defeated. Had to use a few healing vials though, so yeah, like I said at the start, make sure you fully provision yourself and go in with the maximum number of healing vials you can carry. Alright, that's a very tough fight. I think they'll tone it down a little bit in the final release since this is the early access version of the game. I think that boss is a little bit too spammy or too hard, especially to try and no damage. I wouldn't even bother with that. But yeah, that's Chew defeated. I hope this video helps you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.